are guides, we are kings. We march in faith, cause we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies, cause we can. Yeah. We are kings, demanding change, cause we believe we can. Hey, we've been here for about seven minutes. I done seen five cops and three ambulances, four firefighters. Cop down there got somebody pulled over. This ain't normal, brothers. It's a cop right there got somebody pulled over. This right. ain't normal. Right. The way that we think as a people not normal. How you doing, bro? Check this out. Teach right What's your name, man? Bam. Bam? All right, Bam. You ever, you ever heard of the Israelites before? No? Hey, he want a flyer in the car. Fly. You never heard of the Israelites before? Let me ask you something, bro. How long you been standing listening to us? Yeah. How long you been around here? Because I know you just walked up, right? Let me ask you something. What's your nationality? Meaning, what nation of people do you come from? Say it again. A lot. A lot of different nations of people made you. Okay. So what makes up that a lot? I'm trying to take you. I'm trying to show you something on the most basic level that our people are yet to understand you. So, for you to get here today, a lot of people came together. Okay, okay, I hear what you're saying, right? So if I filled out a, you filled out a job application today, right? What you putting on there? Under nationality. Right, I will put African-American. You will put African-American, why though? That's a that's a big leap from we a lot to African American. Bring it out. We are. All right. Let me teach y'all something. How many of y'all was born before 1988? Teach. What we about to deal with right now is facts. All right. If you were born before 1988, then your people were not African American. Teach. Because the term was not invented until 1988. You know a guy named Jesse Jackson. He came up with the term African American. He felt like it was more politically correct than them saying black. Right. So, when were you born? You was born in 98. All right, so I'm, I'm a little bit older, right? So, around the time that I was born, African Americans didn't exist. Now, here's the reality of what an African American is, right? Do you know why they call us that? Because we black, right? So here's the two things. The continent of Africa was never called Africa. It was called the land of Ham. That's its ancient name. Today we know it as Africa, right? Everybody know Africa. Africa was a white man. Right. Bring it out. What he did was he defeated a man named Hannibal. T-Chuck. In the Second Punic Wars. You know what his reward was? They named the whole continent of Africa after him. Bring it out. His name was Leo Scipio Africanus. That was his name. What are we talking about? Facts and history. Because now our brothers and sisters will walk up and down the street and say I'm African American and have no idea why we call ourselves that. T Chuck. Right? So we got one white guy, Leo Scipio Africanus. That's the African part. Now let's talk about America. An Italian map maker, another white man, named Americo Vespucci. Famous. They named these lands, these newfound lands, after the time of Columbus, the Americas after him. Stay for a second, bro, because I'm about to teach you something. Give me two minutes. You too, sis, because I'm, talk I'm, I'm talking to you too. African American. Hey, bro, you got to be strong enough to say, hey, no, we're going to wait for a minute. Right. Right. Hey, I'll tell y'all one thing. I'm going to tell y'all something straight, bro. 
The black man has to be able to stand up again and rule his household, sister. Yes, right. right. I'm telling you straight, y'all got to allow real men to rule again. Right, yeah. right. As soon as the real black men try to usurp and assert authority in his household, then we're not looking for real black men in that. Right. There's a hierarchy according to God, not according to the guys in the purple. According to God, there's a hierarchy. That's right. Watch it, I'm going to read it till you read it. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring you it out. Like, man, you better start standing up again. Look at your forefathers. Bring it out, my The civil rights movement was led by black men. The Black Panthers was led by black men. Today, we've created a society of weak, jelly-spined black men. Bring it out. It's time for you to stand up and rule this nation again. That's right. Quit putting these women over you. Bring it out. Bring but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of the man is Christ, not the woman. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible, God said that the head of the man is Christ. That's right. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Read it again. And the head of the woman is the man. The word woman literally means front man. The word woman literally translates from man. From man. And it's time for you men to stand back up in your community. That's right. Give me mistress women. God said he would create a new thing in this place where a woman would rule over the men. Well, a man can't stand and have a 10-minute conversation with another man because his woman say, no, we got to leave. Teach. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all something straight. No other nation on the planet, they women rule over them like the black man. Right. Teach. The Arab woman don't rule over the Arab man. Right. The white woman don't rule over the white man. Only you only see that in the black and Hispanic neighborhood where this society has given the woman power that the man cannot set his household in order. How right. you doing, bro? Why? Because when they was raised, they was only raised with their mother. That's right. Now you 40 years old and scared to tell your wife yes or no. No, stand here. I'm listening. Right. He actually teaching me something I ain't never heard before. Right. Read the Bible, what the Bible says. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 4, verse 8. Uh -huh. There shall be a confusion also in many places. The Bible says that there would be a confusion in many places. Right. A confusion. Listen to what the confusion is. Read. And the fire shall be opened out again. Uh -huh. And the wild beasts shall change their place. So here's one of the confusions. The wild beasts shall change their place. Right. That's why you see sharks that are normally in the ocean, you're seeing them in fresh water now. That's why you see polar bears and grizzly bears migrating to other places. How y'all sisters doing? The Bible says that there would be a confusion. Animals would leave out of their place. What's the other confusion? Read. And mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Meaning women that are raising children with no man in the household are going to bring forth gangsters. That's criminals. When you look at gang bangers, when you look at our community, the Bible bears witness, our community bears witness that the Bible is a real book. That's right. These brothers that's filling the cut, these gays, GDs, BDs, Latin Kings, Vice Lords, all of these brothers are coming from single parent households. That's right. Teach. Daddy wasn't nowhere around. I had to grind since I was 12 because daddy wasn't around and we was hungry. Mama ain't have enough money. I had to get out here and get it. I'll try to act like we don't know what's going on in our community because we got on purple now. We come from this. That's right. Bring it out. We come from this, just like y'all come from this. Say it again. The color purple does stand for royalty, but guess what? You royalty. That's Even right. you ain't got on purple. All our brothers and sisters is royalty. That's the right. Bible says that God created the world for your sake. That's, That's right. right. You think I'm lying? Give me 2 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. Bring it out. For people to be so Bring low, out. brothers and sisters, God said he created the world for us. For the people you see on that sign right there, so-called blacks and Hispanics, we are the Israelites. That's right. That's our true nationality. We ain't never been black. Black is a color in a crayon box. Teach, Chuck.
Can you imagine going up to a Chinese man and saying, hey man, what's your nationality? And he say, green. Bring it out. <laughs> See, if, if, if you use the examples of us and I put it on somebody else, it seems far-fetched, but you'll tell somebody that you're black. Bring it out. Black is a color in a crayon box. My shoes are black. My pants are black. God didn't call you black. He called you the Israelites. That's right. And in being an Israelite, you got an obligation to keep God's law. That's right. There's the disconnect in our community. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.